Hi everyone, Reverend Prophetess Lady Wisdom, the Prophet of the Christ is here with Christian Gifted Psychics Holy Witches Chapel. Today's date is January the 18th, 2015, and it is 5.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What I wanted to do was record this video, and I wanted to answer a few questions, a few requests. Um, you guys were asking me, what can you use your crystal ball for? So what I wanted to do was do this video about crystal balls. All right, now here is mine. Um, this is pretty small, pretty basic. It works for me. Um, it's real clear and it's heavy. It has a heavy feel to it, as you can see. Um, it's, it's, really, it's really good. I like this a lot. Um, now, I don't use my crystal ball too often, but once in a while I do, I use it for scrying. Now, what can you use your crystal ball for? You can use it for scrying. Say if you, well, that's one of the things you can use it for. Say if you, uh, you lost something, maybe it could be a, a jewelry, a ring, or a bracelet, or you know, or you can use it if you're trying to locate someone. Um, if there's someone that you haven't seen for quite some time and you're trying to locate that individual, you can use your ball for this. And um, you can also use it, actually, believe it or not, for spells or healings and blessings. Say, if you just wanted someone is going through a tough time in their life and you just want to send someone um, energy of healing, um, you want to pray for someone, or you want to uh, send them a blessing, um, you want to send them healing. You, what you would do, you can use your ball for that. Now, how you can do this now, normally I would have this on a table so it'd be flat, like it'd be a flat surface. So it'd be a little bit hard for me to do this, but I'm going to bear with it. Um, what you will want to do the same way, if you guys scry, um, the same way um, that you normally scry. Now, what you want to do is focus on that person you want to focus on seeing that person's face you want to focus on that person so you want to make sure that you don't have any distractions um and you focus completely on that individual once you do that you go ahead and you can chant whatever spell or blessing whatever it is that you want to use for that person and you do it right to that ball now you can also use um well this um this is actually a quartz i think this is a quartz this is my pendulum so um it's not on a good string because i actually lost it so this is like something you can also use that as well if you want to locate using your crystal ball so you could use it and you'll scry now when you want to um scry with a pendulum which is to me a pendulum in a crystal ball is used for the same thing to me um scrying um but if you want to more or less look into past present future i will use a ball if you want to do that um uh, which is fine but if you're just looking for something you could use your pendulum and do it over the ball if you like um i'm just go up and you hold it in your hand don't you don't want to hold it like this you don't want to block that energy what you want to do is be able to hold it to a point where it dangles where the holy spirit um can really guide you and move it for you where you're not moving it so you will start to see that it starts to sway in a certain way. So if you want to use it when you're doing your spells over your ball for that person, whoever you're looking to do a spell for, you would um, hold your pendulum over your ball. And, and once you start to really think about that person and feel that person and see that person's face, that's when you go ahead and do your spell. Um, now, whatever spell you may do, you may not want to send um, energy and healing. You may want to help that person find love. So whatever it is that you want to do, um, that's how you do it. So um, another uh, way you can use your ball, like I said, when you want to look into past, present, and future um, ball gazing, I call that gazing, like gazing into your ball, um, you can use your crystal ball for that as well. And... Whether or not it's for you or someone else, um, a ball is really helpful because it may be able to help you focus your attention, um, focus your um, sight more than just trying to do it with your eyes closed or trying to stare at a wall or something. So, like I said, sometimes this ball, using a crystal ball really helps you if you are a witch or a psychic or a prophet or a seer may help you more. 
um, but again the main key to using this ball keep in mind um, it's not about the tools it's about you so you want to make sure that you are focused you want to make sure that you have intent and you definitely want to make sure that you have protection now um, you, whether or not you believe in God um, your spirit guides your ancestors um, angels you want to make sure that you have protection you definitely do um, because when you're doing this type of work, it can open your open yourself up to attack from different spirits and different entities. So you do want to make sure that you are protected and make sure that you're working with the right spirit. I think that is very, very, very important to me. So again, so this is going to conclude this video. So I would like to thank you guys very much for watching and may God bless.